Hey everybody, it's Bill from HistoryHighlights.com. Hope you're doing well, and we wanted to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. Laura and I are on the beautiful American Cruise Lines vessel, the American Melody. Uh, we are docked in Memphis, Tennessee today, and it's actually turned a little dreary and a drizzle, kind of chilly out there. We've had such a beautiful week, uh, but it kind of feels like the holiday season is settling in. It's kind of appropriate for today, and we're certainly looking forward to a great meal here on board. Uh, can't wait to devour into that. Uh, got some great music to share with them as well. We'll be cruising here till the middle of December before we end our season and head home for the holidays. Just wanted you guys to know how much we appreciate you. We are thankful for our online audience, all our email subscribers that stay in touch with us and enjoy our weekly uh, history newsletter. Certainly thankful to our member supporters who are willing to come in, give us a little contribution every month to keep the lights on, to keep the cameras rolling, editing and video software and all the kind of stuff that it takes to make all this possible. We appreciate you all so much. More than 200 videos now. Just published our 200th video. That was exciting this last couple of weeks. Lots to explore over at our member website. If you're not a part of that, we'd love to have you come and join us. But since we are History Highlights, and since today is this day of gratitude, Thanksgiving Day, thought I'd share with you just a little bit of history about the holiday. This is from the Library of Congress website. The origin of the American Thanksgiving tradition of feasting is generally credited to the early British colonists. In a letter dated September the 4th of 1619, wow, that's going way back, Sir William Throckmorton, Richard Beerkley, George Thorpe, and John Smythe gave Captain John Woodleaf various orders, including one for an annual religious observance of Thanksgiving at the newly established Berkeley 100 Plantation in Virginia. The 1619 order read... We ordain that the day of our ship's arrival at the place assigned for plantation in the land of Virginia shall be yearly and perpetually kept holy as a day of thanksgiving to Almighty God. As early as 1621, the Puritan colonists of Plymouth, Massachusetts set aside a day of thanks for a bountiful harvest. Throughout the colonial period and into the 19th century, official days of feasting and fasting commemorated periods of good and poor fortune. When Boston Harbor was closed in retribution for the Boston Tea Party, for example, Massachusetts authorities declared a fasting day. The Virginia House of Burgess ordered fasting in support of the Bay Colony. Complying with the proclamation on June the 1st of 1774, George Washington noted in his diary, went to church and fasted all day. Actually, in his first presidential proclamation, George Washington designated November the 26th of 1789 as a day of national thanksgiving with this decree. Whereas it is the duty of all nations to acknowledge the providence of Almighty God, to obey his will, to be grateful for his benefits, and humbly to implore his protection and favor, and whereas both houses of Congress have by their joint committee requested me to recommend to the people of the United States a day of public thanksgiving and prayer to be observed by acknowledging with grateful hearts the many signal favors of Almighty God, especially by affording them an opportunity peaceably to establish a form of government for their safety and happiness. Now, therefore, I do recommend and assign 26th day of September next to be devoted by the people of the United States to the service of that great and glorious being who is the beneficent author of all the good that was, that is, and that will be. You know, most early Thanksgiving days were spontaneous celebrations. However, by the mid-19th century, an annual fall Thanksgiving meal was customary throughout much of the United States and its territories. As a matter of fact, during the gold rush, miners far from home observed a day of thanks, on December the 1st of 1850, Alfred T. Jackson of Litchfield County, Connecticut, described his California Thanksgiving this way. Although there was nothing to show it, we observed Thursday as Thanksgiving, as that was the legal day in the States. All we did was to lay off and eat quail stew and dried apple pie. I thought a lot about the old folks and would like to have been home with them. 
and I guess I will be next year. Food, thoughts of family and home, even back then. For more than a decade, writer and editor Joseph, excuse me, Sarah Josepha Hale had pushed for an annual day of national Thanksgiving. From the helm of several prominent women's magazines, Hale editorialized about the importance of a national Thanksgiving celebration. She also wrote to President Abraham Lincoln directly, and on October the 3rd of 1863, in the wake of Union victory at the Civil War Battle of Gettysburg, President Abraham Lincoln decided to issue his first Thanksgiving proclamation. His second followed in 1864, and the President's Hymn, composed in honor of the new holiday, rang out across the nation. Some of the lyrics. Give thanks, all ye people, give thanks to the Lord. Alleluia's of freedom with joyful accord. Let the east and the west, north and south roll along. Sea, mountain, and prairie, one Thanksgiving song. Since Lincoln in 1863, every president of the United States has issued an annual Thanksgiving proclamation, each citing a specific date. While most proclaimed Thanksgiving for the fourth or last Thursday of November, Franklin D. Roosevelt chose the third Thursdays of November 1939 through 1941 for economic reasons. Late in 1941, Congress passed Thanksgiving legislation that Roosevelt signed into law on December the 26th of 1941. Public Law 77-379 set Thanksgiving days from 1942 onward to the fourth Thursday in November. The law also made Thanksgiving Day an annual federal holiday. We hope you are enjoying your holiday and lifting your heart up in gratitude. It's a challenging time for many of us, but let us stop for a moment and be thankful for all of the joys and rewards and great benefits that we enjoy. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for you, thankful for my work, thankful for this community here online, thankful for my wonderful bride that makes every day a joy. Lift your hearts, folks. Give a day of Thanksgiving, and we certainly look forward to talking to you again soon. Have a good one.